today we are going to be talking about vowels and specifically we're going to be talking about the sounds that short vowels make. Vowels that we have, we know we have A, E, I, O, U. So the vowel we're going to talk about today is I. When we have the short vowel I, it always makes the I sound. So words that have the I sound are big, jig, pig, bit, lit, and fit. So you notice that the first letter in each of these words is colored black, but the next two are all red. So the reason why that those are red is because that's what our blend is. And our blend is when we have our vowel that's followed by our consonant. So you can see that we have all our I's and then they're followed by a consonant. So what's interesting about the short vowels is that, especially in this one, we have a consonant, then a vowel, then a consonant. We have b, i, g, big, j, i, g, jig, p, i, g, pig, b, i, t, bit, o, i, t, lit, and f, i, t, fit. So now that we know how these words are put together, I'm going to put you guys to the test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a picture. And so I'm going to show you what we're not doing. But if we look at this one, I'm going to, I could show you a picture here. So you'll notice that there are three fish. And you'll notice that this one's a little bit different. And the reason why there's an arrow pointing at it is because he is big. So we know that seeing how that word is big, we see it here. So we have our consonant, our vowel, and our consonant. So that's going to be b, a, g, big. So I'm going to show you five different pictures, and then I want you to write down what the words are, and then I'm going to reveal to you what the words are. And I'll give you a little hints along the way because some of these pictures can be a little tricky. So first word is this one. So we have a picture of a shovel. So if some of you work in a garden or if you've done anything in a sandbox, you have an idea of what a shovel can do. You can see that it's in dirt right now. So the short vowel sound is going to be found in this word for the short vowel of I. So let's see if you guys know what this word is. Next. We see something swimming in the water, possibly a shark, and there's something sticking out of the water. So what is that sticking out of the water that all fish have? So this is going to be our next word that has the short constant I sound. Our next word, we have a jar of something. It looks like it says tasty on it, so it'll be peanut butter, something like that but the arrow's pointing right at the top here. So what do you put on the top of a jar? What is it called, uh, the little thing that screws on top of a jar? That's gonna be our next word that has the short vowel sound of I. Next, what's that boy doing in the chair? He's doing something. It's a three letter word that has a short vowel sound of the letter I. What is he doing in that chair? And last but certainly not least, we have a kid and he's playing baseball. What is he doing with that baseball? It's a three letter word with a short vowel sound of I. What do we have in there? Okay, so I'm going to show you guys these pictures, and then we're going to talk about the word that is in those pictures. So we're looking for the short vowel I sound, which is I. So here's our first picture of a shovel, and that shovel's in dirt. Let's see what the word is. D, I, G, dig. So the shovel and dig go together. And right there is our short vowel I, I. Next, we have a shark. 
swimming around in the ocean, but there's something sticking out of the water that you can see that belongs to the shark. What belongs to the shark? It's his fin. The shark has a fin and sticking out of the water. And there, right there, is our short vowel I, the I in the word. Up next is something tasting in the jar, and I bet you it's some peanut butter. But we're not looking at the jar, we're looking at the thing on top of the jar that has the arrow next to it. And what screws on top of a jar? It is a O I D lid. Again, there's our short vowel I making the I sound. I. And now we have a boy. He's in a chair. And in the chair, he's doing something. Let's see what that word is. It is it sit. And right there is our short vowel I making the I sound. And last but certainly not least, there's this kid playing baseball. And what are they doing with the baseball? What's the baseball bat doing to the baseball? Let's see. Huh. I, t, hit. And right there is our short vowel I with making the I sound. I think that you guys are doing great with this. So we're going to do the next one. And so this piece of paper right here has a circle on it. So the circle has a bunch of letters, and then we have our blend, and our blend is I, P, I. So with this, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this paper clip, and I'm going to spin it on a piece of paper. I'm going to tell you what letter there is. So all these letters are consonants that we're going to put in front of our blend of I. But now all these letters are going to make real words. So what you're going to have to figure out is which ones are real and which ones are nonsense words. So nonsense words are the ones that are made up that aren't real. And I want you to put them into two different categories on a piece of paper. So I'm going to spin my paper clip five times and then we're going to figure out which ones you're going to use for your words. Okay, so I'm going to put my pen right in the middle right here, and I'm going to spin the wheel, and then I'm going to color it with my red uh, Expo marker to figure out which letters you're going to use. So I'm going to do five times. So the first one is the letter N. The next one is the letter P. The next one is the letter C. The last one... Oh, we already have C, so I'm gonna do it again. The next one is the letter G. And last but not least, oh, got it. right between the G and the N, let's do another one. Oh, got N again. And we're going to do the letter S. So there are your five letters. I'm gonna write them on my board for you so you can see them. So as you can see, I've written down our letters that you're going to be using for the sort. So we have C, S, N, G, P. And what you're going to do is you're going to be adding the blend on. So if you remember, on our piece of paper, we had the blend of I, P, I. So we're going to be adding the blend onto the end here. So I'm going to add I to the C, I to the S, I to the N, it to the G and it to the P. So I want you to take these words and I want you to sort them from being real words and nonsense words. So I'm going to have you guys, I think the best way to do this is to pause the screen right here. So then you'll see the words and then we'll sort them out together to figure out which ones are the real ones and which ones are the nonsense words. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? 
Okay, so remember, here were the words I gave you. So we had k, i, p, k, s, i, p, sip, n, i, p, nip, g, i, p, gip, and p, i, p, pip. So I took those words and I had you put them between real words and nonsense words. So let's see how we did. So, sip, 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 like you're sipping a drink. N, I, P, nip. So if you have a puppy and they have really sharp teeth, they might nip you. So it's kind of like a small bite. But over here, we have three nonsense words. So we have K, I, P. It's not a real word. G, I, P. Not a real word also. Gip. And then p i p pip. Pip's not a real word either. So, how'd you do? I'm sure you did great because I know you guys are all extremely smart out there. But remember, all of this has to do with our short vowel i, which is the i. You'll find in a lot of words, even words that aren't just three letter words. But I hope you had a great time learning about our short vowel i. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon.